Hello and welcome to the channel. The ruling Halt Progressives Congress APC has denied an allegation made by the opposition People's Democratic Party PDP that the bimodal voters accreditation system Beaver's device, which the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC used in conducting the February 25th on March 18 presidential on governorship elections respectively, we are supplied by the ruling party. <laughs> Nigeria go kill person. The drama for this country, eh? He personally would, I swear. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Presidential poll. APC PDP fight over validity of outcome. The ruling Hall Progressives Congress APC and main opposition People's Democratic Party PDP yesterday disagreed fiercely over the outcome of the 2023 presidential poll. While the PDP described the victory of the APC and President-elect Asiwaju Bola Tinubu as an electoral heist that must not be allowed to stand, the APC countered that its presidential flag bearer's victory reflected the will of Nigerians. The ruling party added that it did not supply the bimodal voters' accreditation system Beavers machines used for the conduct of the polls to the independent National Electoral Commission INEC as alleged by PDP. The PDP Presidential Campaign Council, PCC, said for Nigeria to regain its pride of place in the Committee of Nations, the results of the 2023 presidential election as announced by the INEC must not be allowed to stand. Director of Planning and Strategy of the PDP PCC, Don Pedro Obaseki, said this at a media shot in Abuja yesterday. He said that the brazen manner in which the last election was rigged made it near impossible for any serious nation to take Nigeria seriously as far as democracy and the rule of law were concerned. Obaseki said, We have gone through a round of the most dastardly skewed election in the history of this country. I don't want to say since the return to democracy. It is an accepted fact that this election was indeed brazenly rigged beyond all known ethics and ramifications. However, what is a little bit disturbing in the media space, particularly in the social media space, is that the election was stolen. But from whom was it stolen? There must be a frontline, primary victim of the theft. The first degree victim of that is my party and presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar. Secondly, we are aware that in Nigeria since 1960 at independence and since we became a republic in 1963, no court has obtained even the most brazen election before now. All those elections pale in comparison to what befell Nigerians in 2023. The PDP campaign director further explained that it is important that the Nigerian judiciary but put on notice that the essence of the Nigerian state is at stake. As such, whatever decision the justices of the Supreme Court and all those involved in the process of adjudication in this electoral matter must take into account the spirit and the letter of the Constitution. He further said, The onus lies upon them to look at both the spirit and the letters of the law and the very marginalized feelings of every Nigerian and do what is right and correct in the public domain so as to save this country on the sanctity of our commonwealth. They must understand that the 2023 presidential election tribunal proceeding is not just the petitioner and the respondent that are on trial. It is the Nigerian judiciary that is on trial. This is why I called my friends in the media as those who are the fourth estate of the realm and those who must be the forebearers of the conscience of this country, so that we begin to talk and not be dwarfed in the noise of the theft and the real election results, not the ones that Mahmoud Yakubu announced. On the implications therefrom of the Commission's official position that has been taken by Mahmoud Yakubu in pronouncing the APC presidential flag bearer the winner of the election, I was in the very fulcrum, the very engine room. I was in charge of strategy from drafting 
to curating and monitoring of the elections from all the 176,000 plus polling units across the country. I know who won, not only because the person is my principal, but because the truth must be told. We can no longer continue in this blatant disregard of our people. On its part, the APC tackled the PDP presidential candidate al rg Atiku Abubakar, accusing him of raising spurious and wild allegations in his bid to discredit the Heineck. The ruling party in a fresh process it filed before the presidential election petition court PEPC, sitting in Abuja, said there was no truth in Atiku's allegation that its leadership was involved in the supply of beaver's machines that INEC deployed for the conduct of the general elections. APC said it was not aware that INEC procured the beaver's machines from a company belonging to one of its members. That even if Senator Mohammed Sani Musa is a director of Arcti Rate Technologies Limited, he has nothing to do with the operations on day-to-day activities of the company. APC averred in a written statement on oath it failed to counter Atiku's petition against its candidate and president-elect, Bola Tinubu. The party further dismissed Atiku's claim that INEC compromised by awarding contract for the production of sensitive materials that were used for the general elections to a company owned by one of its chieftains. Even though it admitted that a firm linked to its governorship candidate in Adamawa State, Aisha Dalhatu, got the contract to supply electoral materials to INEC, the ruling party insisted that the said contract did not affect the outcome of the 2023 general elections. That I know that Binani Printing Press Limited had been involved in printing and supplies for several years before the 2023 election. That I know that Aisha Dalhatu, though a director in Binani Printing Press Limited, but only in a nominal sense as she was never involved in the day-to-day running on activities of the company. That there are other directors of Binani Printing Press Limited who are responsible for the day-to-day running of the company and have nothing to do with politics. That the award of the contract for the supply of electoral materials to be used for the 2023 election to Binani Printing Press Limited has nothing to do with Aisha Dalhatu who was the gubernatorial candidate of the Hall Progressives Congress for Adamawa State for the 2023 general election. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.